Hey there, everybody! Happy Tuesday! <laughs> yes, I know what day it is this time. <laughs> uh, Alan and I are here. He is my uh, my husband. For those of you that don't know, I keep forgetting that not everybody's been you know with me the whole time. But um, anyway, if you're wondering where we are today, we're actually at the hair salon because um, I was actually scheduled the very first week of this whole isolation thing I was scheduled to finally get my hair cut <laughs> and then I couldn't um, so I thought if I could be anywhere today where would I want to be and I would want to be getting my hair cut because I'm tired of it so we are in the bibbity bop bibbity what how the heck do you say bibbity boppity boo hair salon because you guys know how much I love Disney so that's where we are today if it looks awfully girly it's because I'm a girl and I thought eventually when I get my hair cut, I will feel like one once again. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, gosh, let's see who is here today. It, you know, I, it still amazes me when, um, when I see people joining for this. It is just, you know, I think one of my biggest things my whole life has been, you know, throwing a party. You've heard me say this, throwing a party and nobody shows up. So that's like always been like one of those anxiety you know things so i'm always so excited when when people come in i'm so happy to see so many familiar names oh my goodness we've got who's here we've got denise and shelly um oh looks like my husband welcomed everybody isn't he a sweetheart uh sandy is here hi sandy hi lisa and who else marilyn oh my goodness so many people it's so nice and who that was over on YouTube on oh, Stephanie my girl Stephanie is here oh my gosh besides the princess <laughs> she is my Disney pal too she and I love Disney and we like to go together so um, and Corrine is here and uh, Judy and Liz hi Liz in Puerto Rico so good to see you here it has been an absolute um, just a downpour of rain for the past two days so um, it is uh, it's nice and refreshing to be here with you guys in this beautiful bright room and uh, yeah you guys ready to get started we're gonna be making window cards today what does that mean what does a window card mean let me show you what we're gonna be doing what we're gonna be working with okay <clears throat> this um, this is a, it's actually a stamp and a die set so the stamp set it's called uh, a view for all seasons and we call it that because it's it, it basically you know window that gives you a beautiful view to the outdoors if you're on the inside or you can look at the view on the inside if you're outside so it's a view and for all seasons because it's designed so that you can use it year-round and this is actually one of my favorite favorite stamp sets that we have it's perfect for backgrounds you can use it in the background or you can use it just as your entire card and that's what I'm going to show you today um, when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do today I was going through everything and I thought, you know, this would absolutely be perfect. So I am going to switch my camera and show you a little more about this one. All right, let me turn a couple of things off here really quickly. Okay, so here, there we go. Now you can see that this is my stamp set. It is beautifully loved. That's why it's very, very dark. Um, this stamp set has, gosh, how many stamps does it have? It has 15 stamps in total. And then these are the dies that are going to cut out all of the images over here. It seems like a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty good size die set. Uh, and I think you're really, really gonna like how this works. And I've actually designed, I'm only gonna make one card today, but I'm gonna show you some simple tricks on how you can do uh, three different variations of this card. Um, and I, I really want to talk to you about a couple of things here and you'll see, actually, you know what? I'm going to explain some of these as we go. So these are the two main products that are going to be featured in my card today. And then the only other thing that I added is one of my favorite paper packs. I chose this country lane because, you know, it's springtime here in Michigan and you know we're starting to get all the buds on the trees and on the, on the plants and everything and in just a few weeks we're going to start seeing all the beautiful flowers start to grow and it's my favorite time of year i absolutely love flowers although i'm allergic to just about everything outside but <laughs> i still absolutely love this paper pack this is a double-sided um, paper pack as well so that's the only other item that we're going to be working with today 
I want to show you, I'm going to leave the stamp set here so I can talk about a couple of things. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. As always, we've only got an hour, so I've prepped a lot for you guys to, because, you know, I don't think everybody wants to sit and watch me color every single week, and, you know, I don't want to be spending time die cutting and all of that. So I try and get things prepped. So here's what I did. I stamped a whole bunch of pieces from this stamp set. And we are going to do a little bit of paper piecing. We did that, I think, in the last card. Let me line these up so you can see everybody that I've got here. Here we go. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do, so I have a couple of duplicates. So, okay. In this stamp set, I want to point out a couple of things. Well, first of all, this is your window. This is how this window is going to stamp. And I stamped it in black. You can stamp it in brown, depending, you know, it's really whatever you want your window frame color to be. I am very, very big into having black accents around the house and having really dark windows. Not the windows, but the frame around the window. Um, that's how it is on our house. It's not black, but it's a really, really dark, dark brown on our house. But I just think it's really pretty. So I stamped this so you could see what it looks like. That is this stamp right here. You can kind of make, you can figure out which ones are which in here, but there's a couple I wanted to point out. Notice we have a little front and a back of this little kitty cat here, which I think is just so cute. And we do that because, and you'll see this as I go through the different options for the card, when you stamp these out, cut them out with your die, you can actually line them up just like this, and you will have the front and the back. So they line up perfectly. And we did that because you can actually create your window card so that you can see through into the other side of the card or onto the inside of the card. And then we did the exact same thing with the, the curtains. So these curtains, if you stamp them twice and cut them out, they will line up just like this, perfectly, front to back, okay? sticking together for me a little bit there. All right, so I'm gonna shift these up a little bit, and now I wanna show you the different variations that I was talking about. If I just want to work on the, on the front of my card, I can just stamp my window and I can start adding all my little pieces. I can, I can start adding my shutters here. Look how cute that is, just adding a couple of shutters. I can put um, my little window box here. Okay, I can create a beautiful scene. If I want to get a little more interactive with it, then, let me see, this is another option. And this is where I stamped it on the front of the card. I used, let me show you the dies here. We have two dies here for this window. Let me open these up because this is a pretty important thing here. And I'm, I'm taking the time to do this because I really want you guys to understand how this set functions, like what you can do with it if you have the dies. So I can use this outer die, I can put this around and I can cut out the entire window. And then I would just be able to take that piece of that, that window in my hand and layer it and do whatever I want with it. But, for example, this one here where all I did is stamp it on the front, this particular die has all these little blades here, and those are going to cut all of those windows out, those little window panes. So if I line this up with this line right down here, okay, with the first layer of that sill, and run this through the machine, I would tape it, and then I run that through my machine, this is what it's going to do. It's going to not only cut this out so that all the little windows of panes are cut out, but watch this. Notice I can open up each of these windows. And so that makes it interactive. See how this goes? So that makes it interactive. And now, since I stamped directly on the front of the card, I can see through to the inside of the card. So this is where this becomes really interesting because, for example, 
this is some paper piecing. I just stamped the curtains twice. I used, this is where I used the paper pack. So I chose a pretty little polka dot and I stamped it twice in black, cut it out. If I glue these together, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Otherwise it's gonna be a little difficult for me to hold these. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here. Line these up. And I use, um, this is Aline's tacky, tacky glue, it's clear. It dries pretty quickly. All right, so if I take this now and I put this on the inside of my card, look how you can see that through the window. It looks like you're seeing the curtains that are inside the house. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I just love that. But what you're also going to do if you notice, I then stamped again on the inside of the card, okay? So once I stamped it here, and I, I cut that piece out, so I stamped it, I cut it with the die, and then I could see exactly how to line it up on the inside, how to line up the stamp, because if stamps are clear, you can see through. Now, I can line this up right here, and not only do I see it from the front of the card, from the outside, let's say, but now I can also build a scene on the inside of the house. How sweet is that? I can put little characters in here. I can put a little table in here. I could put another little window box in here. I can build a whole scene on the inside of the card. And then I would have my gorgeous scene on the out and the scene on the in. Isn't that the cutest thing? I absolutely love this. So that is option two. So we have option one where all you're going to do is stamp on the outside and build your scene. Option two is stamping or stamping and die cutting right on the front of your card, building your scene on the outside, building your scene on the inside, type a note or uh, write a note, put a sentiment in there. And then option three is going to be the card that we're going to build. So this is kind of where I combine both of those options. So I have stamped on the front of a of my cardstock, so this is going to be a card topper. I stamped, I cut just like we talked about. I used this die. All right, now you can see I can open and close my windows. And then if you remember from, I can't remember, maybe last time or the time before, I used that little brick stamp that I got crooked. <laughs> well, I actually used my Misty this time and I got it straight this time. So, woohoo! Gay for me. <laughs> so that's how that works. Um, and I'm going to show you now. We're going to build the card. So I wanted to explain all that because sometimes I know, you know, companies have all these really good intentions of creating these really, really cool things for you. And then you get them home and you go, what do I do with that? Uh, so I wanted to make sure you had an understanding of how we intended some of these pieces to be used. Because I think that's really important. And when you get the, when you get um, when you get your set home, I want to make sure that you are able to use it um, to its fullest. So here we have the window that I that I stamped and I cut, and we have the um, what is it called? The little brick pattern on there. Alan, do we have any questions from anybody? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, is this uh, auto ship on HSN? No, this set is not on HSN. Uh, somebody asked if it was an auto ship on HSN, and it is not. Um, there was something I was just about to mention. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, uh, for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, we do a giveaway. Actually, do I want to put these flat? I'm not going to put them flat. As you can see, I haven't I haven't actually assembled this card yet, so we're gonna I'm going to try and figure this out as we go. So as I was about to say, or like I was about to say, we do a giveaway. The giveaway is going to be. It's going to be this stamp set and the coordinating die set. And the only way that you can qualify for the giveaway, well, there's two things. One, you got to be here. And two, I need to know you're here. So I need you to leave a comment, ask a question, tell me something about yourself, tell me where you live, ask me a question about anything you want. I will do my best to answer. Um, but I don't know that you're here if you don't let me know. Um, er Erlene is saying, what size card is this? Oh, this is going to be an A2 sized card. So this is my card base. Let me open this up. 
This is going to be an A2 size card. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. When I open it up, it's five and a half in this direction and then eight and a half. So basically what we're doing is taking a letter sized uh, sheet of cardstock and cutting it at, um, at four and a quarter and then scoring and folding it. And then I took this beautiful floral pattern paper from the Country Lane, um, that's from this Country Lane set here of papers. And I cut uh, a quarter inch off of either side of that. So it was, this was also cut to an A2 size and then I cut a quarter inch off of either side just so I have a pretty little white frame around it. And then when I cut this card, I went in um, another just over just order over a quarter inch so I think it was maybe three-eighths of an inch off of each, each side because I really wanted the floral border to show up and yes you can see the flowers behind there but we're gonna take care of that so you won't see that when we're done so let's get back to this I'm gonna go ahead and build this look at these shutters is this just not the cutest thing I absolutely love these so we have two stamps two dies one for the right one for the left and I've got my trusty foam here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these up on a little bit of foam. Now, my foam that I use is, um, is pretty thin. Uh, I like a thin foam because it allows me to control how, um, how much I wanna put on there, or how, how much dimension I wanna have. So I put a little bit on each one of these. And in case anybody was wondering, I did color with Copics. You can color yours, I mean I did just these pieces here, you can color yours with pencils, you can use watercolors, whatever it is you want to use. So let's go ahead and build this up. I'm going to line it up so the bottom of the shutter comes to the edge or the bottom of, uh, of that little windowsill there, or the top of the windowsill I guess it is. There we go. And I'm not putting it really, really, you know, hard up against that window because I want to make sure that we don't lose that movement. So I leave just a tiny little bit of space. I'm right handed. I don't like to twist my, my arms and hands all over the place. So I tend to move my project around, whether I'm coloring or assembling. Let me see if I can keep my hair out of the picture there, out of the camera. That good? Yep, that looks good right there. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I think this is so cute. We have this little awning here. Now, if I were building this so that I didn't want it to open, I love this awning. I think it's really pretty. This is another one of those things where I want to show you how this is designed. If you use this, this uh, the outside of the window and you stamp out the awning, you can actually cut the top of the awning out with the, the, um, the frame that goes around the window. And then we've included this little scallop at the bottom here and that lines up perfectly with the scallop at the bottom of that awning. Isn't that pretty? So Jane is asking, how is that squiggly die used? That's what that is. <laughs> that is for the bottom of the awning, just like that. And then Dixie is saying, what set is the small brick stamp in? It's That small brick stamp is in A View for All Seasons. It's right here. Let me turn it around. You can see in the picture on the back here. These are the only stamps that I used for this card are in this stamp set. So everything is in here. What else do we have? Veronica is saying, I stamped using your hybrid ink and colored with Copic, but the ink smears. Oh, well, some, there's two things you have to make sure of. You gotta remember, um, your hybrid ink is a combination ink, so it's gonna have qualities of both um, a dye and a pigment. Um, you do, that, that, that means that although it's going to dry fast, I mean, fairly quickly, it's you do have to set it aside and give it a few minutes to dry completely you also have to make sure and remember that the paper that you're stamping on now i don't i don't care if you're working with watercolors or pencils or markers or whatever it is 
your paper is one of your tools. So you have to make sure that you're using a paper that is going to, if you're using watercolor, you want to stamp on a good watercolor paper. If you're going to be working with Copics you, um, or alcohol markers, you want to make sure you're using a paper that is um, that is designed for or, or works really really well with alcohol markers. Um, I used this is uh, this is Nina. I think it's called Nina Solar Crest. It's a it's a bright white. That's what I stamped on, um, and that's actually my favorite one to use the the hybrid inks with. I think it works absolutely beautifully. Another one is um, oh, what is it called? Okay. Yeah, it's over there. I just can't remember what it's called. Um, you know what? I'm gonna link them. Actually, can you get it over there, Alan? Nope. Right. No. Nope, right. Wait, hold on. Pause a minute. No, sweetie. Pause a minute. Right. No. Can you? Let me tell you where it is. To the right. You see. To the right. You see where it says um, where the green paper packs are. Right there. To, to the left. One more. Right there. <laughs> so sorry, everybody. <laughs> I have a lot of paper. <laughs> My husband wasn't, which wasn't sure which one. This is another one. This is Express It Blending Card. This one is actually designed for use with Copic, mar Copic markers, and this is a really good one to use as well. Um, but the um, the Nina paper that I use is by I think it's called Cut Cardstock. Um, I can put a link to that uh, below as well. So that. Those, those are, I think, absolutely wonderful ones, but you always have to keep in mind that your paper is one of your tools. Okay, so let's continue building this. Now, like I was saying, if I wanted to use this awning, I can put it right up over here, I can put it up on foam, and I can layer that and look how cute that is. It is going to prevent the window from opening. Okay, so in my situation here, I'm not gonna use it only because I, I do want that window to open, but I wanted to show you that option. So. I'm going to go ahead and continue building. I'm going to put, actually, actually, you know what? Before I build, I got to get my sentiment on here. That's one thing that I always forget. See, this is how you know I'm crafting like live without having this all planned out because I make no mistakes. I'm going to go ahead and put a sentiment on here and I'm going to think about where I want my sentiment to go. This is all set up from last time. So I'm going to think about where I want my sentiment to go. I do want to put my little window box here. So I'm going to position this. Let's just slide that under there. Um, there are no sentiments in this set. And so I thought this is, this is a free stamp set that we're sending out with every order while supplies last. So I thought how perfect would it be to use one of the sentiments in here. And let me put this behind here so you can see what they are. So we have this one up here that says, the world is better because of you. The world needs more heroes like you. I'm not sure that one is gonna work in here very well. Thanks for all you do. Not all heroes wear capes and real heroes wear uniforms like ours. Now a lot of these pertain to the characters in here. I think I'm gonna use the world is better because of you. That's the one that I'm gonna put on the front of my card. And I'm positioning that little flower box there because I want to make sure that I put my sentiment. I don't, I don't want to end up having the sentiment be in the way. So let's line that up. Put my magnets on here. Straighten that out again. There we go. And I'm gonna use my Raven Hybrid. And do it again, just so it's really good and strong. One of the things I love about this, we call this Raven because it is such a true dark black, which is not always easy to find. Look how beautiful that is. It's so sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off now. Keep in mind that the hybrid ink, because it does have permanent qualities, it is going to, um, it is going to, it's going to color or stain your stamp, which isn't bad. I don't worry about it. I use them. I don't expect them to look brand new all the time. 
When mine have color on them, I call it love. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So let's put this away. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to add, where'd it go? Here we go. Let's start building this up. Let me get a little piece of foam. And I'm going to put this on the back of my little windowsill here. Windowsill, my flower box. Let's try that. Now, I'm going to put this right up here, right up underneath it. Let's see if I can maybe center it a bit. Try not to get my hair in the way. That's always pleasant, isn't it, when you see the top of my head? <laughs> okay. What do we have? We have questions. What is the name of this set? This is called A View for All Seasons. And there's a there's the stamp set and the coordinating die set. That's Linda. And then Cindy says, do you ever use embossing powder? I do use embossing powder. And you know what? Cindy, I'm glad you asked that because I haven't used that since I've been doing these. I think I'm going to have to do that. So, um, and we do. We, ha we actually have a clear embossing powder and a white embossing powder. And you can emboss with your hybrid inks too. So, you know what, I'm gonna do that in my on Thursday. So, all right, I'm gonna build up the back of my scene now. Now, here's what I did. Remember when I showed you this, when I put the, the, the card on the front of the floral, and because I have the window all cut up, I can see the flowers behind it, and I don't wanna see that. So what I did is I cut another little piece of white cardstock, and I'm just gonna put that, I'm gonna layer it behind there. And um, so I'm gonna build up on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my um, my little curtains here. Let's see if I can layer this. You know what? I'm going to put the curtains directly on the back of my card right now because that way I know exactly where I want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive around here. And I don't want to get that on the window in there. So center that in so you can see the curtains. There we go. This is what it's going to look like from the back and I have glue all over my fingers. I was a little sloppy about it, but that's okay. You know you're crafting when you're getting gooey, right? Okay, so that's that. Isn't that cute? So pretty. Go like that maybe? No. All right, that way. Okay, so the next thing, it's not staying, it's not dry yet. Okay. The next thing I want to do is build up, oh and this was another thing too with the little pots because they, those are also symmetrical so I can I can go ahead and adhere one behind the other and so that that can work also with the inside and the outside like we showed the like I showed the card before so I'm gonna go ahead and um, this is one of the stamps with the little flowers and then here's the pot so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive actually am I doing this on the right side let me see yeah, and that's going to go right over the top of that. Actually, do I want to do that in the other direction? No, I like it that way. Uh-oh. There we go. Sorry, we lost the camera. We actually got new a new camera in that we're going to be testing tomorrow, so hopefully we won't be losing the camera like that. It's been so frustrating, and um, we haven't been able to, you know, shipping is a little slow right now, and trying to get non-essentials is not an easy thing either, so um, that's why we haven't been able to get the camera and stuff that we wanted. So, let's see. Here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on here already. Um, how big is that? I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesive on here. 
because, actually, I think I'm going to need a little bit of adhesive here. Because I have layers, that's why I'm hesitating. Let's go ahead and lay that on there. There we go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open up these windows. I'm going to bend my green leaves back a bit. There we go. And oh, I got some stuff on there. All right, the next piece, let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put this little kitty cat in here. And then I want that flower pot too. So yes, my big old tape gun by Scotch. Love this thing. Trusty, trusty tape gun. So I'm going to go ahead and put this flower pot here, building up this scene. I think it's just so cute. You know what? I'm going to I'm actually going to leave his little tail sticking out. Do I want to put him on some foam? No, I'm just going to tape him down. Let's see. I'm going to leave his little tail dangling out because I think it's super super cute. And I kind of have a little space for it right in there. <laughs> so we're going to leave that open just a little bit. Look how cute that is. I think it's super sweet. So, go ahead, put that away. The next thing, where's my stuff? Here we go. So if I were gonna do the inside and the outside of the card, that's when I would use these other two pieces here. But we're not gonna do that with this one. So let's go ahead and build this up. So I have my pattern paper that is going to frame a card front. I'm going to make sure I'm doing this in the right direction because I've done that far too many times where I have card opening in the wrong direction. Once you get that tape down, it doesn't come back up very well. <laughs> um, Erlene is saying, do you sell the flower print paper in the background or does it come with the stamp set? The, the, the paper both of the papers, so that floral right there, as well as the polka dot that I used for the for the curtains, is in the country lane. So here's um, this is the floral pattern right here, and then the little polka dot is right there. The country lane. This gives you 24 sheets. There's um, uh, two sheets of each, and each one is double sided. So you end up getting 24 different patterns too, and they're just let me show you some of them. They're just gorgeous. They're so pretty. So here's some of them. I don't have all of them here because I've used this paper pack, but this is some of them right here. And then here's the other side. You can see the beautiful purples and the teal. They're absolutely stunning. Um, I don't have all of them here just because this is my paper pack that I use and it's one of my favorite ones. So I actually use it a lot. So that is the Country Lane. This comes in both six by six and 12 by 12 as well. And the 12 by 12, by the way, because a lot of people, a lot of people don't like to get 12 by 12s because they think that that the pattern is going to be so blown up and so huge. And it, and ours are not. Ours are, I think they're 125 um, percent in terms of size compared to the six by six. So basically, what that means is we've only blown up the images 25 percent uh, larger than what you're going to get in the six by six. So they're not going to be huge images. Bianca is saying, I want to see cards made with the strawberry patch. Absolutely. We could use that one again. That would be fun. I, I think I used that in a card early on, but um, I would love to do some more with it. And then, do I ever use glue dots? Liz is asking me, do I ever use glue dots? You know what? I used to, come to think of it, but I don't anymore. I think I don't just because they, um, they're not as fast for me, and it's much easier for me just to use, to use the foam or to use the tape roll. I don't have anything against them. I think I might even have some. Um, I think another thing that I've run into also since we do trade shows and stuff, 
Um, I think that I've had trouble in the past with, with some glue dots where they just kind of lose their stickiness over time. Um, and so I like using these, these tape guns because I think that they, they really hold their, their tackiness for a long time. And, um, oh, you know what? I wanted to pop that up on foam. <laughs> I'm not even thinking. They, they hold their tackiness for a long time and, um, uh, and they're much easier and faster to work with. So let me go ahead. I'm going to put this up on foam because I want to have that, uh, see what I mean? I get talking and then I forget what I'm doing, but I want to have a dimension on the card. So I'm going to just put this right over the top. So what I was saying about trade shows, because we do trade shows, um, we need, you know, we want the cards to last longer and to really make it through, you know, shipping long distances and stuff like that. And I had just found that when we, when, when they get used a lot, when the cards are getting moved around a lot and, and handled, uh, the, um, the glue that just wouldn't hold as long for us. And so we were fixing cards and stuff. So here we go. So this is going to be up on foam and that's going to give us some beautiful, look how pretty that is. So that gives us that dimension on the card that we like so much or that I like so much. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? I love this. I love being able to see that little scene in the background. This makes me think of, um, my husband and I were, I think I've mentioned this before, we were married in, in Italy, in, the, in Milan. I'm Italian, he also, I'm half Italian actually. My husband uh, has a fair amount of Italian heritage as well. And when he, when we were talking about getting married, he had said to me, you know, where would you want to get married? And I said one of two places, either on the beach in a bikini when I used to be able to wear bikinis, or <laughs> in Italy because I had never been and I always wanted to go. And I thought if ever I'm going to get there, that might be a way to do it. So, <laughs> so we decided to get married in Italy. And this actually makes me think a lot of um, of Venice. I love the windows. You know, when you're looking at beautiful windows in you know the buildings in Venice, the beautiful vibrant colors. We have the teal here. And then the windows, uh, it just, you know, and then you, know, you can see the brick. I just think it's a beautiful window, and that could be in Venice. And it says, the world is better because of you. I think it's so pretty. Yay. <laughs> so, let me see. Let me change my cameras really quickly. <sighs> oh, and we're back in the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. What do you know? Boy, oh boy, I wonder if the line has gotten any shorter and it's going to be my turn anytime soon. We'll see. I don't know. So this is my card. I love it. Oh, and look at that. You can see the green screen. It's so weird when we had the green screen going and then I have things that are green. You can see through it. It's so bizarre. Very, very strange. Anyway, we are early today. Um, I want to take a moment to talk to you real quickly about this stamp set. Um, we... Uh, this stamp set, it, it's so much fun. You know what, Alan? Can you, can you get me the card? It might be on this side. I want to show you the card that I made with this. Uh, we we um we did a we did we participated in us in a in a stamp set with the Stamping Village, and um, it's for charity. It's a fantastic Thinking of You stamp set, and we did a video hop on it. Uh, I think that was last week. And um, anyway, so I made a card. And I've got a video, it's on the channel that you can, and, and anyway, I used this stamp set. I ended up using it. It wasn't planned initially, but it worked so perfectly with it. This is a stamp set that we put together. It's called Today's Heroes, and you've heard me talk about it, I think, already here. Um, but this is, it's a four by six stamp set. Here's the card. Actually, well, because of the green screen, you can't see it. So give me just a second. I'm going to show you the card. Okay. Here's the card that I made. This is the sentiment that's in the, the Stamping Village Thinking of You stamp set. Um, but we designed this because we wanted to, to not only give back you know, to, you know, to our, our customers and to crafters everywhere, um, but we wanted to show our appreciation of all of our heroes of today during this pandemic. And so this stamp set, I absolutely love it. We've got a doctor, we've got a patient, we've got a nurse, um, we've got food delivery, uh, there's a police officer and a teacher and some really sweet sentiments that go with it. But this sentiments, or I'm sorry, this stamp set is free. 
You're not going to find this stamp set in our store anywhere. You'll see a picture like on the banner on the front cover or on the, the home page. But you're not going to be able to order it. You don't have to add it to your cart. You don't have to do anything. This is going to ship with every single purchase. No matter what you purchase in our store, this is going to be added to your package. And it's going to be for free. And it is so much fun. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, stamp set. And this is just an example of a card that I made with it. So I have one of our little food delivery people here. This is how we get our groceries now. And we have a nurse and a doctor, and we just have some beautiful um, scenic dyes that I used in the background along with the sentiment that is from the Stamping Village Thinking of You stamp set. And that stamp set, by the way, every single purchase, there is going to be a, um, a $5 donation that goes to the Save the Children um, Foundation, and that's for that uh, the, the Thinking of You stamp set. That's a, It's a 6 by 8 stamp set. So. Um, anyway, we're really, really proud to be participating in that. So anyway, that is, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what we were doing with that and give you an idea of how you can get this. So this, this is a free gift to you guys, and it's a big thank you to you guys so that you can give a big thank you to all of today's heroes. So anyway, <sighs> did somebody say something about a giveaway? Uh, yes, I think they did. Somebody did? Was that me? Oh, let's see. Today, we are giving away, where is it? If you could see my little mess here. My studio is not as clean as the studio or boutique behind me. <laughs> at least not when we're doing this. I, I've, I've, got to, I've got to show you guys pictures of it at some point when it's all you know, like put together before we do this whole thing, because I know somebody, a few people asked about it. Um, but anyway, these are what we're giving away. So hopefully you guys got your comments in. We're gonna draw a winner. And you're going to get the um, the View for All Seasons. That it's a four by six stamp set, and then this big old honkin' die set as well. And it's, it truly is a really really cool thing. And then any of your character stamps you can add to your cards um, to make a little scene. I mean, if I wanted to put little characters in the front on this one, um, I could do that. It would just be abs that much more adorable. So let's see who is our winner. Let me see, what is it? I don't have, is it, how do you, what are the last letters? O-N-E? <laughs> <laughs> you would think he was a doctor because he writes like one. <laughs> Beth Valone, V-A-L-L-O-N-E. Beth, Valone. you, Valone, 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 you are the winner. All I need from you, Beth, is um, you, can, you can communicate with me in one of two ways. Either send me a private message in Facebook. I'm going to need your complete mailing address, and we will get these out to you right away. You can also send me, um, you can send us an email at, write this down, customer service at, and then it's the name of the company, ldrscreative.com. So uh, customer service at ldrscreative.com. That will then get sent to me so that I can, um, so we can get everything shipped out to you. And these will go out in the mail. Uh, they should go out in the mail the very, very next day as soon as we have that information from you. So Beth Valone, right? We need your complete shipping address. Yay, you're the winner. <laughs> um, you know, hey, I wanted to mention to you guys too, because I never do this. Um, if you're on, um, uh, if you're if you go to our website I would very strongly encourage you to subscribe to our blog subscribe to our newsletter because we put um, you know we don't do newsletters all of the time but I try and get them out periodically but we do put um, special discount codes in there the inspiration blog we send out an inspiration email post that goes out um, several days out of each week and we'll, we will have some special discount codes and things in there as well as news you know, we're going to put information in there about our new collections. We'll have information in there, in there about you know when we're doing these lives and different things. Um, I would also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get an automatic email whenever we put a um, a video out. And then if you notice on our YouTube channel, we've always got I'm always going to put something up there for our next like tonight. Um, I'll put a uh, I'll schedule the next video, which is going to be Thursday at the same time, and you can click the little reminder on there. And then when it automatically goes live, you're going to get notified of that too. So 
I would highly recommend that you do those and it'll help us you know stay in constant um, touch so that you know so that you know we can let you guys know what's going on and you guys always know where to find us and what our discounts are and what's going on and stuff so anyway um, we are early we're early do we have any questions let's see if you have any questions for me please let me know because we're quite early today um, Lisa's asking since all the ships were delayed ah will it be delayed in the future okay so Lisa is asking regarding the HSN auto ship will the auto ships be delayed in the future they should not be um, it was just that first one everything because all of the the first auto, the, I'm sorry not the first yeah it was the first auto ship was scheduled to go it, it was it was scheduled during when this whole pandemic hit and everything was just up in the air and a mess and shipping schedule shipping you know was the whole thing was just anyway we've gotten ahead of it let's put it that way <laughs> um, uh, we couldn't get the product uh, in time which is why it, everything was delayed so um, everything has has kind of ironed out now and the next auto ship should be on on time and we've gotten everything ahead so everything should be fine with the all the rest of the auto ships Judy is asking when is your next release uh, we are scheduled for a release just uh, next month actually about middle of next month and it is a cutie it is so so cute we've got uh, we've got stencils and stamps and dies and papers in it and I cannot wait to show you it and I can't tell you any more about it but that is another great reason to subscribe to our blog and subscribe to our newsletter because those we will be putting information out uh, as we get closer so that you guys will know exactly what's going on if you're in YouTube and you don't and, 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 and you don't have access to our Facebook group I encourage you to um, you know if you have a Facebook account I encourage you to to join our Facebook group if you are in Facebook I encourage you also to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have different things that go out in there so Chris Lawler is asking how did I start my company oh that's a good question that's it that's it this whole thing I, I this is all because of my husband to be honest with you <laughs> it's all his fault <laughs> um, I was I I before I had my own company I when I started crafting and card making and stuff I was actually doing project design for other companies and um, and I was crafting so much it became a huge addiction like it like it does and it should rightfully so um, but he basically said to me you know what you're doing this so much <laughs> you should start a business and um, I think he said that, that to me for what maybe a good six months to a year something like that and you know my son was getting a little bit older he I think he was three he was he was you know in school part-time and decided to that he wanted to be in full-time because he's an only child and that was when he got to be with kids right so um, anyway I that's basically that's what I did I contacted I just started making some phone calls and I was put in touch with a fantastic uh, children's book illustrator to be honest with you and it just kind of started from there so that's that's how it happened and it really is out of a true passion um, for card making and um, and for coloring that's where it all comes from for me um, the very first images that we did were very much they were they were all about coloring uh, whether I was coloring with watercolors or you know painting or coloring with Copic markers um, and and really everything that I do everything that we produce is a product that I would use if it if I won't use it I don't want to produce it and I'm very very particular about the quality of all the products that we that that we put out uh, because I'm a crafter and um, and I always want to use the best products I want to use really good quality papers really really good quality stamps and dies and stencils um, I test everything personally and I make sure that it is of the highest quality because that's I don't want other people to, to be crafting with products that I myself wouldn't use so I think I've answered more than just that question but hopefully Hopefully that gives you a little little bit of background about me and my company. Any other questions? Nope. I don't see any. All right, I think we're early, but I think we're done. Um, I'm thinking 
that for Thursday, I keep saying I want to work with a floral. We have a floral that I really, really want to work with. Um, and it's actually, actually, it's right there, Alan. Can you get me that? Yes. Yep. That's it. Here. I think if I put this up on the screen, then I'm committed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to work with our cherry blossom stamp set, stamps and dies. And I think I want to do a couple of floral cards with it. I've been trying to get to this stamp set for a while now, and I just haven't been able to. And this is going to give me even more practice with my new watercolors. And I and I'm, I'm, I'm this close to putting my class together. I just need to, I need to do some final prep. Uh, so I think we're going to do some floral cards on Thursday. Oh, sorry about that. So anyway, I think they're calling my name. I think they're ready for me in the boutique. Um, <laughs> we'll see how I do. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to end up with a big old updo and glitter all over my head because <laughs> it is the bippity boppity boutique. Oh, Liz. Tell, what? Tell Liz Allen has a radio face. Tell, she tell, says, well, we so Liz, Liz, I'm supposed to tell you that Allen has a radio face. What does that mean? It means it shouldn't be on TV. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sakes. What a goofball. My husband is what you would refer to as a silver fox. <laughs> He is a cutie, and he's very white. He's got a lot of white hair. He's got a white beard and mustache, and but not a long beard. He's very well groomed. Okay. <laughs> All right, they really are. They're calling my name, so I think I'm going to have to get going. I don't want to lose my place in line. I want to get my big old, you know, updo and all the glitter and everything at the Bippity Boppity Boutique. I can't wait. It's about time somebody took care of some of this there. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's it for tonight, unless anybody else has any questions. I had an absolute blast being here. And um, I think that's it. So thank you guys. I will see you on Thursday, because today's Tuesday, right? Right around the corner. I will be painting tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to be painting up some cherry blossoms. So bye, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful night. I will see you on Thursday. Same place, same time. Well, maybe not the same place. We're not going to be in the boutique. We'll, we will be someplace else. <laughs> bye. Bye.